Hello, this is Kay Jo Lee with Crochet Basics, and in this episode, we're going to make a, a pullover, which actually doubles, it's, it's like a poncho, and you can also wear it as um, like a belted vest, really. All right, so this one is pretty easy. For the most part, I think it is beginner friendly. You need, uh, what I'm using is uh, Pound of Love. Lion Brand Yarns, Pound of Love, and I'm using two different colors. I have Vanilla, and I think the other color is Mocha, or I think it's Mocha, okay? I'm using an L-Hook, so this is a crystal light, they call them, uh, an l size hook. I don't even know what an L is in millimeters. Okay. You need a um, stitch marker for counting, and a yarn needle for later on, eye hook for finishing up, a uh, needle, not needle, yarn needle, scissor, and a tape measure is always welcome because uh, this is a long one. We're making two panels and we're going to attach the panels. A tape measure is good to have for this one. All right, but let's get this going. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and the panels work up uh, rather quickly. And you can also adjust. You can adjust by, uh, to make it wider, three chains, because it's a three stitch pattern. And then it's like, you know, the length you wanna make it. I'm making mine uh, approximately 60 inches, which sounds really long, but it, it has to get from one wrist up my shoulders, across my back to the other wrist, and I am uh, five foot nine. So it's got a lot of uh, way to go. <laughs> All right. So, but with this, you want loose tension, easy loose tension. The yarn itself suggests a J hook. So, but I'm going up two sizes for this uh, as far as what the yarn suggests because you want this to um, flow. You want it to um, drape onto you. You don't want it stiff and, and like sticking out and, and all of that. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to chain. So if you do a slip knot, I do not. Um, if you are going to make it along with me, I suggest this takes a while. So I suggest maybe you want to um, subscribe and uh, or add it to one of your lists or whatever it is so that you can find me in case, you know, as far as you know getting it uh, going all right so with that I do not do a slip knot I wasn't taught that way if you if you're new to me you know this I do a little crossover um if you're new to me you don't know this rather but you can start with a slip knot I don't do a slip knot I do a little crossover on my hook all right so we're gonna chain uh, 46 chains for this for, for our starting chain <laughs> so but nice even loose chains So we're going to skip this first one closest to the hook and you're going to work back in a single crochet for this first row and this is just a like a stabilizing row for um for later on so one single crochet in each chain and you should end up with 45 chain uh single crochets for row one And if you see that your end is really curling, you can always do your chain in a hook size bigger. And that helps it to lay flat for later on. You can do that with pretty much any project that's a, like a flat piece. So after you finish that first row of single crochet, okay, we're going to chain five. 
and turn your work. So one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to skip over two, two single crochets and work a double in that third chain, that third uh, single crochet, rather. So very easy. All right, so from here you'll chain two, you'll skip two, and you'll work a double. And you'll repeat that till, till you get to the end of this. Chain two, skip two, double crochet. And you want nice, even tension on this. You, you want it a little bit, you know, we're not yanking it super tight. It's not an amigurumi. We're not stuffing it or, or anything like that. So nice, easy tension. Okay, so in your last one, you'll do a double crochet. And you'll chain five and turn your work. All right. So this beginning chain five, it counts as a stitch and it counts as the chain two. So you'll skip over and you'll go right into your first double crochet and you'll double crochet and you'll repeat this. You'll chain two and skip over your chains and go right in. So it's actually um, 16 because the chaining counts as a stitch. So it's actually 16 um, posts or, you know, double crochets. Now, let me just give a quick measurement on the width here. Now, this will loosen up and all, and we are going to put a border on this. So this will, you know, be a little bit wider than what you got, but the way it works. So it should be a little uh, over 12. It should be between 12 and like 13 inches when you're first going. It will loosen up and be a little bit longer and wider and stuff like that. All right, but you'll continue on and you'll make this to the length you want. Um, like I said, I did, uh, or I don't know if I said, I did 70 rows of the chaining double crochet and one row starting row and ending row on the panel of um, single crochet. So I have a total of 72 rows as far as my panels are concerned. All right, but let me just show you, let me get to the end of this row so you can see it and then you can just repeat that. And one other thing with this, one thing with this is that uh, every so often take a look and make sure you didn't skip over one of your double crochets because I did that when I was first making, um, when I was making my second panel, I skipped over and I had to pull out a whole bunch just to pick that stitch up. It was a, such a pain in the tushy. I kid you not. I was so mad. I was like, all right, I'm ready to cut off. And then I said, something's wrong here. And I was like, oh, son of a gun, you know, what the heck. So I had totally missed it. And I guess it was late at night and I wasn't uh, caffeinated anymore. Totally missed it. So from here, your last one, where we have the five chains. So you'll chain two, and you'll pick up that third chain, the middle chain, um, from the five chains. So that third chain, you'll pick up and work your double crochet, 
and then you'll chain another five. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll turn your work and you'll repeat it. So work as many rows as you like. We're going to end off with a, um, I did 70 chaining rows. And we're going to end off with a, a row of single crochet. Um, you can pause here if you're, you know, or make sure you subscribe or add it, add it to one of your lists, your playlists, so that, you know, you know who you were making it with. And you can find me when it's time to attach and all that kind of thing. All right. So, but I'll show you, I'll show you real quick. So you'll make your piece. But just to show you real quick. See how this is, um, you know, the way the chain is, you're only picking up one side of the chain when you're do working your first, first row, your, one, your single crochet. So for picking up your last row of the single crochet, just instead of losing your mind trying to pick up underneath, just do it in the back loops only. And that makes it uh, so much easier to deal with and to pick up. But make sure you pick up if you, um, I said we had 45. So if you adjusted, make sure <laughs> you wrote down how many you had so that you know to pick up because it's not just stitches, you're, you have to pick up the chains. So you have to remember how many you started with so that you have it nice and even and all. But as far as this is the ending, this single crochet um, row I'm showing you right now would be the end of the panel. But, you know, you'll work yours. Uh, I'm just showing you real quick how to get this and, and uh, make it easy for you. Because I already have my panels made. Um, I was actually trying to be super professional with this one. And I said, you know, I want to make sure it's looking, you know, that I'm going to make it work before I pull out the camera and, you know, my lamps and all type of lights and stuff, you know and my fancy tablecloth. <laughs> All right, so on this last, that this would be your last row of single crochet when you did all your chains, and you would work in the back loops only, and then you'd pull a tail and cut off. All right, and then you'd work your, your next panel exactly the same. So you're making two panels uh, the length you want, whether you want it to be like short sleeves or... Um, you know, long sleeves, I'm doing it long sleeves because that's how it can be worn as poncho, like a vest, a belted vest. If if it's too short, you know, I told you I did mine 60 uh, inches more or less. So if it's too short, you're not going to be able to uh, wear it that way. So, but you pick your style, of course, you know, you're you, I'm me, <laughs> and you pick your style. But I like to give you the options and all of that. All right, all right, so that's how you would do the beginning row. This is how we do the rows in the center, and then that's how you do the ending row. And, um, and then I'll show you how we're gonna do the border. Oh, and for the border, you need your eye hook. We're doing it in an eye hook. So after your pieces are made, after your panels are made, your first panel, um, you know, second panel, Okay, uh, we're gonna do a border, and you'll pick which one. The first panel you do the border on, you're gonna go all the way around, uh, no stopping. Okay, so I did the brown. You'll do your border on the first panel. So how you're doing your border is with an eye hook, we're going in smaller so that we have nice tighter um, when we connect and everything. And you're gonna go into a corner, you're gonna start in a corner, so the first, panel you do the border all the way around so and then for the second panel uh, I'll show you how we're going to attach because we're going to attach using this the border from the second panel all right so you'll attach and in that first you'll chain one and you'll work two single crochets in that first in that corner all right, and then all along where your um, chaining is and your double crochets, you're going to work three, three single crochets, a chain one, you're skipping here, and then uh, like uh, you're skipping to the next um, loop opening, and another three single crochets. 
with that. A chain one, skip, and then go in. All right, and on the corners, I'll just show you because I feel like I don't want to eat up all your time. This isn't a project where you really need to like see, see. The only thing you need to like really see is when we're attaching. So, but in the corners, you'll do two single crochets, a chain one, and two single crochets, and, um, and that'll get you to the other side to continue on. All right, but I'm gonna work this up. So you'll do your first panel fully uh, with the border and all, and then um, if you're gonna come back and you know do the second panel with the attaching, of course, you'll come back and I'll, I'll meet you in the corner of where we're gonna start to attach so that you know what you're doing. All right, so, but um, it works up so fast, it really does. Uh, this is one if the kids, you know, you're taking the kids to the park or, or you know, you uh, take the train to work or whatever it is, it, it works up. Even late night TV. I like to crochet and watch uh, TV, which is funny because I've watched whole series and I couldn't tell you what the actors look like anymore because I'm, you know, I'm looking down, I'm looking up at the TV. I'm looking down, I'm looking up at the TV. So I'm very funny that way. All right. So I'm going to, uh, you'll work your first panel and your second panel lengthwise. You'll start doing your borders. And uh, if you're working it along with me or you're planning on coming back, make sure you subscribe or add the video to your list so that you know who you were making it with. Okay, K Bella Jolie is my channel and I'm K Jolie. Crochet Basics. All right. All right. So I'm going to work mine. My first panel's done, I'm gonna work mine, and I will meet you back here for the attaching. And if you, if, I know I'm going fast, but I think that, you know, it's pretty, this is a pretty cut and dry one. It's not a lot of detailing. So I think you don't really need to sit through all the stitches. I mean, I could be wrong. So, but, you know, comment below if you need to see more on this pattern or, you know, you need to, um, you have questions about attaching or whatever it is. If uh, you missed something, you know, either rewatch the video or um, comment below. Let me know what you need to, uh, you know, I, any questions you have, I always try and answer them. All right. As far as, uh, you know, any of the crochet or the yarns or any kind of thing on technique and stuff like so, that. Um, this is my first full panel. I completed it with the border. And for the second panel, we, we're going to use the border to attach it to the first panel. But what you want to do before that is to uh, get a measurement, a sense of where you're going to put your neck hole, your head hole. <laughs> okay, so you want your measuring tape and you know, you want to fold it in half. Now the thing with this one is what makes it easy easier when you fold it in half is that your holes, your double crochet spaces with your chaining, um, they should line up. So because it's, you know, it's an open piece, you can just line them right up, which makes it easier actually, you know, from when it's a, a flat, just a flat solid panel. So that makes it easier. Okay. So now I measured um, I think I measured about seven inches from the end. I measured, I guess, about seven, seven, uh, six, blah, 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 blah. Between eight, six and eight inches is, is really, it's all you need. Um, cause this will stretch and that's on both, you know, that once you open it up, that's both sides. So I marked it off with stitch markers. In, I marked it off in the chain one space so that I knew where I was going to go with that. All right. So, but for the second panel, you'll start working your border. And I'm still attached here. So, but I did 70 rows of the chaining with the double crochet. 
So uh, all, all in all, it's actually 72 rows because I have the starting row of, of single crochet and then the ending row of single crochet. So I started in the beginning with my border. And, you know, of course, I'm, I'm doing this, you know, two colors, two tone and stuff like that. Um, I thought it would look cute. You know, and also it gives me like different looks, you know, I could wear the brown in front or I could wear the cream in front or, you know, and then when you wear it um, like as a, as a pullover, like a kind of like a vest, a belted vest. So that just gives you different looks. So that's why I like the idea. And also I had so much. I mean, I had a pound of each of this and, and it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of yarn. I still have. I mean, I did the whole panel and this was a brand new skein and it's still like completely full. It's probably still close to a pound, of course, you know. All right, so let me show you how we're going to attach. So I attached and I started working the border in the bottom for the second panel, the second panel. And I worked across. So now we're going to start to attach the top. So you want to line them up you want to line them up and you can also count it out um, as far as where your stitch markers are for, for attaching. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So this was, I always leave a stitch marker in like for counting. So if I lose track of how many rows, I don't have to start at the very beginning. I could just start, you know, at 10 or, oh, I was up to row 20 and, and now where am I? So what you would do is line up your pieces. Okay, so then one thing to note, when lining them up, the panel that is completely finished, all right, you want the, the backs of those stitches. So you see how the braid is facing this way? So when it was crocheted, it was crocheted this way. All right, so you want the back of that facing this panel, um, the, the back of that facing this panel, if that makes sense. See this? The stitches here are facing that way. They're facing towards the left. So this is the front. This is the front of your stitches. So you want um, back to back, I guess, right? That would make sense, back to back. We're getting tangled here. Okay. All right, so you want them lined up opposite. Let's see. See on the end, the stitches are going in different directions. So my white stitches here from my finished panel are going in a different direction than what I'm working. All right, so you want it to be opposite when you attach the panels. Make sure your spaces line up so that you know it's even, you know what I mean? So that you know your space, like you're spaced out evenly, and it'll um, it'll lay the way it's supposed to, and you can attach it. You know, like it it won't be all um, uh, mis mismatched. Like when you have a whole bunch left over on one side, and you don't have that much left over on the other side. All right. So, but you'll line your pieces up, and you'll pin them. I'm using my stitch markers just as a guide. So I think I did uh, 26, the way I uh, measured it, I did 20, 26 before uh, where I'm going to, you know, that's going to be attached, 26 rows on both sides. So you might want to go smaller than that. You know, it, that goes by um, like your shoulders, how uh, wide your shoulders are. And, you know, your head, how, like you don't want to go too small or you can't get your head through type of situation sorry sorry to be so silly so now once you have it measured out I don't know if you can see my stitch markers are here but they're actually pretty light I don't know if you can see them I don't have um 
I usually have opaque ones like this, but I can't seem to find them. I guess I must have them in different projects because that happens sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'll put a whip away and I'll come across it and I'll pull it out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here's all my stitch markers that have been missing. It is so funny. It's, it's uh, last year I hit the mother load. I, I, I had a project that I had put away and I had, I had something like 15 stitch markers in this thing. I'm not even sure what it was. <laughs> it was some kind of wrap, you know, something silly. But I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, well, here's all my stitch markers, you know. Make sure you count it out. On both, on the whole thing, really. So from end, from the ends that we're going to connect, make sure you have the same amount of spaces going across to your stitch markers, all right? And then the same amount, you know, on both sides is what I mean. The same amount here, the same amount from the end to here, so that you know that you attached, like, totally in the middle, and you're not going to be uneven, in, in any sense of the word. So now with that being said, I'm, I'm all even here. And I'm going to show you how atta to attach the back panel to the front panel. And I told you we're using the, the eye hook, the same eye hook. All right, so now we're gonna start in the corner and we're gonna start attaching across. So with your eye hook and the border, so we worked um, the beginning border I also like doing it in the opposite color because I thought it would make it easier on the video itself, you know, so you could see the difference, um, you know, where the border is and where the border is not. All right, so let's get this going. So in this corner, we're going to start attaching and we're only going to attach in the chains. So you'll do your first two single crochets, uh, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have to fix this video because <laughs> I confused myself. All right, so we're gonna start working. We're gonna start attaching. So you'll work that corner. You'll work two single crochets. You'll chain one. You'll slip into the chain from your other panel You'll do a slip stitch and then you'll go back in and work your next two single crochets. You'll chain one, you'll slip around your chain from your other panel and then you'll go back in and you'll work your single, your three single crochets. Chain one, slip into the other panel and then work your three single crochets in your next uh, chain space. So I hope this is making sense to you. <laughs> Kinda. If you don't like attaching this way, just a, a side note, if you don't like attaching this way, you can, um, you can always sew it. You can always sew it or crochet a seam after the borders are done, all the way done, if you don't like attaching this way. So, but you're finishing the border as you're closing up, and you'll work until you get to your, um, your stitch markers to where you're going to um, leave your neck hole open for your head, you know. So, and then it's good to check every so often to make sure you didn't skip any, you know? You want to make sure you don't skip any uh, spaces, of course, because then it, it would be a little, you know, be off. So now I'm at my stitch marker here, my first set of stitch markers. And I'm going to do my last one here. And now from here, I'm not going to um, attach anymore until I get down to my second set of stitch markers. 
So from here, you'll just work the border uh, as you know we were before and not pick up the other side until you get to your second set of stitch markers and then we'll start that again uh, closing up the other you know the other arm And what you, you know, a, a good rule of um, thumb or, a, you know, just a tip or something, uh, before you, you know, after you first attach, after you make your neck hole, when you attach here, hold off and try it on and make sure it fits over your head. Like, make sure it's a good length for you. Um... So that you you know so you know that you got it a uh, good measurement and that it's you know it's uh, not going to be a problem getting it on and off and it sits the way you want it to sit and stuff like that you know all right so I'm coming up on my second set of stitch markers here. And then you just go back to the chain one. and attach with the slip stitch and um, like I said you know just and don't go any further uh, give it a try on and make sure and also if you wanted to just make sure it's laying flat that you caught what you were supposed to catch you know like that you attach what you were supposed to attach and everything because you don't want to accidentally have this ruffled up and then you get all the way down to the end and you're like ah oh, son of a gun I totally messed that one up you know because thing, silly things like that happen to me. Um, even in making this, I had gotten all the way down and I cut off and, and then I said, uh, something's off. Why, why don't I have enough uh, chains here to do the 45 across? Like I was short, I was shy some. Well, I had skipped one of my posts and it was like all the way like like 10 to 15 rows down and I had to pull it all out. And um, so yeah, silly stuff like that happens to me <laughs> when I do stuff, you know, when I'm all excited and, and not paying attention, I guess. All right, but you'll continue on with this. One, two, three, chain. All right, so you can, you know, pause here and whatever, and then you'll just continue on. Um, until you're totally, uh, your border is totally closed off and then you'll, you'll cut off, you'll, you know, before you cut off and everything, I always, you know, with these kinds of things, you want to make sure they lay the way you want them to. Um, just something, you know, food for thought or whatever. You want to make sure that, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's right or whatever. Say, look, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention and I didn't do my attach so but just to make sure you know it sits the way you want it to or you know whomever you're making it for and stuff like that and I like this one I like this one mainly because I've been wanting to do one like this for so long you know I I do um I've been doing a lot of amigurumi on the side uh not on the side just not really um oh uh, what do they call them like patterns and stuff to do the amigurumis and different uh, characters and stuff. And so like I have a tendency to put this kind of thing like, you know, f like fun, easy stuff, easier stuff or, you know, fashion type stuff. I have a tendency to put that aside if I'm really into working, um, you know, an amigurumi up like a plushie or something, you know, like a stuffed animal. 
but I thought this one was uh, fun. And then if you make it now, fall is coming and, and fun stuff like this is always in style, I think, you know? So you'll just, uh, you know, finish this up and when you get to the end, You'll, um, you know, pull it, pull a tail. You'll slip stitch, pull a tail, and and weave in. So here I've come to my end. I'll do my last pull through here, and then I'll start working my corner, which is two single crochets. I'm going to chain my last chain one, slip stitch into the center, there, work my last two single crochets in this corner, and then finish my border down with one single crochet in each until I get to the end. And then there you're done, you know, snip off, you pull your tails, you snip off, and uh, weave in and all that good stuff and then you're good to go alright so questions comments below I hope you like making this one uh, it, it works up pretty quick and you can adjust it if you want it wider or more narrow you know if you want the panels wider longer shorter you know so that's fun like that's that's good as far as body types you know so where maybe you think like oh I can't wear that it's you know it's too long or it's you know it's too short it's not going to fit me because I'm tall or whatever it is you know you can adjust it so that is always a plus we like that when it's something easy and then it's you know you throw it on and you go so that's what that looks like. So just one last thing um, that I remembered and I for, had forgotten, whatever. If you're not going to wear it as like a vest, you know, like if you're going to wear it just, uh, you know, arm, uh, you know, across your shoulders, you can always put a little stitch in on the sleeves and then that'll hold it uh, when you're wearing it. You know, that'll hold it like... Um, help hold it in place so it's not, you know, all wild and, you know, flapping in the breeze or, or whatever it is. <laughs> all right, so that was just one little thing that I had thought of um, and I forgot to mention. All right, and um, you saw the pictures in the beginning. You'll see the pictures, you know, right now. So thank you so much for watching. As always, happy hooking because it keeps you off the streets and it keeps you out of trouble and looking super cute for, you know, fall. And um, I'll be back real soon with my next tutorial, Crochet Basics K. Jolie. Um, thanks again. Uh, make sure you subscribe and all that. I have other fun patterns and things like that, all different types of yarns and uh, amigurumis and, and stuff like that, hats and things. All right, and I'll be back real soon with my next tutorial. Thank you so much. Have a super duper great day. Crochet Basics K. Jolie. Bye.